Nikki with Aziki Eats, and today we're gonna try out Japanese snacks for the very first time. Some of these snacks I haven't had before, but I went to Daiso, which is a really cool, like 99 cent uh, shop that has a lot of imported, like Japanese snacks uh, and like different little things like stools, and they have just so many different things that like you wouldn't imagine in like a regular 99 cent store, right? And it's fairly cheap. Everything is is labeled in yen, but yen is easy to you know read, especially because there is a uh, conversion kind of thing like it tells you like if it's 300 yen it equals to about three four dollars kind of thing I went out and I decided to try out all these new snacks um, I've been dying to try these for a while so I'm really really excited I admit admittedly I've never had any of these things and I am super curious to you know taste what this is all about now um there's a couple of things that I kind of like I saw when I first walked in and I'm like, oh my God, I really have to try this. And I just got like super excited. <laughs> All right, guys. Itadakimasu. We're going to try the first snack. And this is one that I looked at earlier. This is the first one I saw and I'm like, oh my God, takoyaki bowl. I was like, yes, I really got to try this for the first time. So what this one seems to be is... um. It's flavored as takoyaki. Honestly, I really think that this is flavored as like a rice ball, uh, kind of like a puffy, like corn or like a corn puff, right? Kind of like a Cheeto or something, like a puffy Cheeto, except it has the flavors of a takoyaki and it's made out to kind of like resemble actual takoyaki. So if you guys ever had takoyaki, it's basically like a deep fried, like flour wheat batter and inside of it, it has um, like a little tiny octopus and they top it off of like mayo and like fish flakes and, and some other sauces and stuff and it's delicious so I'm really excited to try this um, the back of the package is so cool because it has let your taste buds take a trip through the street food stalls in Japan with our takoyaki ball each bite has the same savory flavor as takoyaki but with an airy light crispy texture so I'm really excited to try this one. Um, yeah, like it even says it up there, takoyaki. Oh my God, I can't wait. Ooh, oh my goodness. Wow, it does smell like takoyaki. The aroma of it, like the fish flakes and the seasoning, it's there. Wow, and it does look like little corn puffs, like, you know, like I said, like Cheetos. All right, here we go. Let's take a quick peek at this. So you can see it's completely seasoned. Um, I will admit though, in comparison to like the actual package itself, the, the little takoyaki balls are a lot lighter than what you see on the package. So I feel like it, it could, it's a little misleading, um, but I'm sure it's gonna taste just as delicious though. It says, it says here, enlarged to show texture, it's extremely round and it has more color to it like an actual takoyaki ball. But this is not as not the same in my opinion, but here we go. Oh my God. <laughs> oh wow. It does taste very similar to a takoyaki. Yeah, they definitely did a good job mixing the flavors and putting it into this. It's actually pretty good. Obviously it's a lot more airy because it's a, you know, it's a puff, but it has like that very subtle, but like it's there, a uh, flavor of takoyaki. Yeah, it's definitely like eating it. Like if you were walking around and you caught the aroma of a takoyaki, that's basically what this is. Not bad, especially if you're a big fan of takoyaki. I definitely recommend it for sure. And the packaging is super adorable too. I love it. Okay, the next one I wanted to try was this one. I'm not really sure what this is. So um, it seems to be like a, a rice cracker of some sort, but like tiny. Well, it says here, Hachimi Suno Yasa Shii Sa. I, I don't know what this text is right here. So I think these are definitely little rice crackers just by the way that they look. Uh, like tiny little rice crackers. Uh, they do, they have a very crispy firmness to them, so. Oh, ooh, wow. Mmm. 
Oh, at least she does. This is really good. This is delicious. I love this. These are addicting. Oh my God, I can sit here and eat a whole bag. Oh my God. It's got that, it's a bit salty, but it's got like a hint of sweetness to it. This is actually really good. Now the flavor, it's just it's a cracker for sure. Maybe it's like a soy glaze or something that I was confusing it with. But this is actually very, very good. Oh my God, I'm gonna seal this up. I'm gonna eat this later, y'all. <laughs> Okay, so the next one I'm gonna try is the mochi. The golden curry snack bites, curry in a hurry. I love salads, warm spice rice crunch. I feel like this is something you would probably sprinkle on a salad, like a crouton. That's what it's reminding me of. Wow, these are actually pretty big. Oh my goodness. Let's grab a little small piece here. It smells like curry for sure. <laughs> it definitely is seasoned strongly with curry but it reminds me of croutons, oddly enough. Very, very strong curry, like very strong. There's a bit of spice to it. It's not that hot though, you can eat these easy. But the flavor lingers. You eat one and you're still tasting it and it's been like a couple of minutes. I personally feel like I just, I can't sit down and, and just eat out of this bag unless like it's accompanied with something else. And the flavoring is extremely strong. So whatever you're eating this with, and you make sure you pair something right with it, because otherwise it might be conflicting flavors. So this is very strong and overpowering. Like the palate will need to be cleansed afterwards for sure. Ooh, I, I can't, okay, 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 okay. Listen, listen, admittingly, I couldn't wait for the video, so I opened this one up already the other day, and I had one because I'll be real. Sometimes when I go through my lessons, because I'm I'm learning Japanese and I have a whole notebook and and I'm studying off a book called Genki, and um, I finished the lesson. I was very proud of myself, so I said, "Oh, I deserve a little snack." So yo girl decided to open this one up and get myself a little flavoring, a little taste taste, uh, you know, ahead of time. Um, but I will tell you, this is one of my favorite candies. I'm very happy that I picked this randomly. It literally is like if you went to Starbucks and you bought a, a caramel frap, you're drinking a frappuccino, but not really. It is so good, oh my God. This is actually so good. This is such a good little candy to just kind of gnaw on, like whenever you're just, watching some YouTube videos or getting hungry somewhere else, you just want a little, or you are craving coffee and you're just like, yeah, let me just have a taste of coffee, but I don't really want to drink coffee. Yeah, this candy. I'm sorry, I'm extremely enthusiastic about this one because this is actually a really dang good one. I'm so happy I opened it before this video because I've ate over half the bag. So sorry. Um, but yeah, I am trying to save them. <laughs> I love it. Oh. 10 out of 10 for sure, I recommend it. We're going to try this one next. This one caught my attention. I'll be honest with you. I like things that are different. This has a, a female on it, puckering her lips like, mm, this is so stella. So it looks like she's going through a lot. Now, I don't know what it, I, I can't really read all of this, but right here in the little bubble it says, Antananka, Antananka. But apparently this is supposed to be like sour just by the way that it looks. It says in the back here, Dom Yoji Umeko. So Dom Yoji Umeko. Ume is plum. So this is definitely gonna be a plum candy, probably sour. So let's try it out. Let's see what this is about. Okay, so they all come in, it comes in these little packages. Kind of reminds me of Warheads. I'm hoping it's not as sour as a Warhead because I am not ready for sour right now. Let's see, because it has a lot of exclamation points basically like, ah, so I'm looking forward to it. Oh, okay, it doesn't look like a Warhead. It's kind of like an oddly shaped candy. It looks kind of milky. Maybe it's hard. Okay. Oh my God. Ah! Is it sour? This is so sour, guys. Oh my gosh. 
I'm being dramatic, I know, but it was actually very sour. I was extremely sour. Um, so it starts off, you think it's a, it's hard. It's not a hard candy. The moment you bite into it, there's some, there's like a gel in the middle. And that gel, when it releases, it t- takes over your whole mouth. And it's extremely, extremely sour. And I mean, like, unless you really like sour, this is Warhead level, like, black plus yellow lemon flavored Warhead together. It's pretty gnarly. It's actually pretty strong. I would probably stay away from that candy. But it does get sweet. It does get sweet when you keep chewing it, but it takes a while. It takes a long time to get sweet, in my opinion. I think I felt like I was stuck in this like sour eternity kind of room i'm like ah, get me out but yeah unless you want to prank the kids with this candy like i would probably stay away it is a little too much for me personally <laughs> okay so i've been really wanting to try this one out it's been sitting in my fridge for a couple of days now uh this one is dorayaki which is a baked red bean cake it comes in a lot of little packages so they're all separated these little packages are so cute Wow. Wow. It looks like two pancakes were put together. So it looks like there's a red bean paste in there. I'm gonna break this in half. There we go. So it's really squishy. I like it. Okay. Mmm. This is actually really enjoyable. I really love the red bean paste. Mmm. It's very light and enjoyable. It's a bit sweet in the inside. So I could only have like a small piece, but this is very enjoyable. Like this is a snack that you'd want to share with a friend or you give your kids. This is delicious. <laughs> okay, I think it's time for a drink break. We had a couple of snacks and I would like to try yuzu. Now this is sparkling water. It says made in Japan. So ingredients, sparkling water, ju- uh, yuzu, juice. Kim- uh, Kimino drinks. Here we go, guys. I don't think I've ever had yuzu before, but I'm excited to try. Oh, wow. The, the, okay, right off the bat, the citrus smell is extreme. It's strong. It's like, what? Oh my gosh, it's very, very strong. It's almost like, you know, when you squeeze the peel of an orange and then like it squirts out that citrus, like that's what it smells like. So here we go. Oh, this is different. This is different. Okay, so the sparkling water aspect of this drink is, you know when you have like Perrier or like, you know, bubbly, you drink them and you feel like the sparkling part of it is like big. It's like there's a lot of bubbles and it's very strong and there's a lot. Well, this feels like finer. This is like a little bit of a lesser, more um, mellow, sparkling water. With the taste of a lot of um, citrus and earthy at the same time. So, this is pretty good. The next one that we're having is... I don't even know what they are. They're little sticks and I'm, uh, I'm assuming they're kind of like cream filled sticks. Like wafer sticks with cream. These Hokkaido milk bourbon. Uh, this is what this is apparently. Well, it comes in these like cute little packages. Oh my goodness, you can share with friends. Like, here, have one. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> right now, just opening this package up reminds me of like Kit Kat bars without the chocolate <laughs> because it comes with two of them. So then you can actually share with a friend. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so creamy. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh my gosh, it reminds me of like custard. Mmm. Hey, give me that one that I tossed you. Can you give it back to me? Have you ever had those little round um coconut balls so when you bite into them it's got a cream in it and it also has like a little nut inside of it that's what that reminds me of except without the coconut shavings and the and the white chocolate or cream on the outside to bind it together except it's just the wafer part with the cream inside this is 
absolutely delicious. All right, friends, we're getting down to the wire. We have Bickle, which is a drink that's left, and also the Royal Milk Tea. I'm a huge milk tea fan, so I look forward to try this one out, of course. All right, so this, I don't know what it, what it I don't know what Bickle is, okay? I'll be honest with you, I don't know what it is. It seems to be like a, maybe it has some sort of milk in it? Maybe not, because it's still kind of clear. Apparently it's a soft drink, and it does contain milk, so let's try this. Okay, I'm not sure how to feel about that smell. Now I'm not trying to judge it just by smell. It almost reminds me of spoiled milk, and I don't know if it's because like it's mixed with something else. I'm not sure. I don't want to judge it without trying, but so far I'm, I'm not sure I'm, I'm a fan of the smell of it. I don't really normally like milk anyway, but if you call something a soft drink and it contains milk, I'm going to be a little weary. I hate to say it. I'm going to kind of be a little judgy, especially if it smells kind of like spoiled milk. All right, let's try it. Oh, this is not for me. Not at all. Let me tell you, this reminds me of a medicine I used to have to drink whenever I had to get an MRI done back in like when I was a kid. You know how they'll make you drink these white, like white liquid things right before they got to x-ray your intestines and all that? Well, that's what that reminds me of. I'm so sorry for anybody that actually enjoys that drink. I promise you, maybe we just have very different palates, but that tastes like medicine to me and I'm not sure I would ever uh, even look at this thing ever again. I'm so sorry. I like everything, but like that's one thing I'm just like, no, maybe it's an acquired taste Maybe you grew up drinking it. So you love it. It's the same with natto Like if you if you grew up, you know eating natto You're probably gonna like natto as an adult or you know, you'll grow a taste for it But I don't think I can drink that it reminds me too much of of, of medicine. I unfortunately have to put that on the side. I barely even took a sip before I realized that it's not my thing. But I always encourage everybody to try something at least once. And if you like it, you know, obviously everyone's palate's different. Um, you might enjoy it. So who knows? Anybody that watches my Twitch streams know that I firmly do not like craft cheese. I don't. I think that craft cheese personally shouldn't be considered real cheese because to me it's it doesn't it, it just tastes too processed to be cheese. To each their own. Everybody likes what they like. Well, there is a craft cheese single <laughs> right on this cover, so I'm a little worried. I think this is supposed to be like a cheesy, spicy flavor. I, I don't know. I'm not sure what it is. Now I will say that this is Korean. So, um, it's got well, it's got Korean text, but on the back it's got Japanese text. So it's, I'm not sure. It does say okay. It says product of Korea, has Korean letters, but it has also on the back Japanese um, symbols and text. So I'm assuming this is just a Korean product that maybe is sold in Japan as well, distributed in Japan. I'm not sure. They look crispy. They have a hole. Mmm. It's sweet. And savory. Sweet and savory. It's not spicy. It's very crunchy. More crunch than, than poof. I can't quite put my finger on what it is. But it does taste like it's got honey and cheese for sure. Apparently, it also has tetio boki flavor. I'm not sure what that is. I don't even know if I said that right. I apologize. But this is actually not bad. I can eat this. We're doing the royal milk tea first to flush down what we just ate. I'm going to do a little quick shake just to make sure. Okay. So it's the finest blend of black tea infused with 25% milk. Products of Japan. So... I look forward to this. I love tea and I love milk teas in general. Oh, I love the way this looks already. Mmm. Oh, this is pleasant. This is very pleasant. It's not too sweet. The 
There's a creaminess to the tea that I really enjoy. The tea flavor is just so good. And the milk just makes it creamy. Oh my gosh, this is delicious. Mm hmm. Yeah, I recommend this. It's pretty good. Last one, guys. Okay, so this is a classic vanilla cookie. Product name is Pretzel Sand Classic Vanilla Cookie. All right, let's give this a try. This looks delicious. There's a pretzel right next to the image, so we're just gonna open this up. Let's take a look. Oh, I love this package. It's so cute. Wow. And it comes with two little cookies per package. Oh. This is adorable. Here, my so you guys can see it better. Okay. Oh, the cookies are super like smooth and flat, and it's very thin. There's cream in it, so it smells so delicious. And it says Mr. Ito. That's what's what's written right there. Whoa. not expecting that from the cookie okay the best way I can describe it is that the cookie it's like a um, half pretzel half flour or something it's got that kind of a pretzel pretzel crunch but it still tastes like a cookie I don't know but this is different this is not I've never had a cookie like this this was a pleasant surprise this is actually really good Well, this concludes our Japanese snack taste test, and I'm looking forward to trying out some other new snacks from different countries as well. If you guys don't mind, please recommend what other countries we should try on this channel. And then I'm gonna go ahead and order some snacks from whichever country you guys are suggesting down below in the comment section. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It makes a huge difference for a small YouTuber like myself. It really means a lot, and I hope you guys uh, have been enjoying my videos. I try to release a video once a week. Um, sometimes it takes about two weeks to release a video, depending if I'm busy doing events for Twitch or filming some other commercials and such. Thank you again, you guys, and I will see you for next week's episode, which, by the way, I'm going to give you a little hint. It's going to be a Cuban food episode, and I'm going to leave you at that, you guys. All right, see you guys. Much love from Nikki from Azuki Eats. Bye.